I realized that water is a gender-fluid word in Spanish. In its singular form, it's masculine, el agua. In its plural form, it's feminine, las aguas. Confirmed, water is gay. I guess Ron Perry was right. Water is turning the people gay. For the record, no it's not. That's just not scientifically possible. Hello everyone, my name is Roberto Cristian, but you may call me Robbie for short, and today we're going to explore an alternate universe in which Anitra was the Pokemon champion of season 15. She may not have won the Drag Race crown, but in this video, she did. Before we start, I want to announce my new Discord server. Again, which you can find using the link in the description or somewhere in the comments below. Uh, join the server and let me know who you're rooting for in All Stars 8. And make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon content coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's get started. It's also funny to think about how the word water in Spanish is gender fluid because water is a liquid and liquids are fluid. Now science is gay. See, we really do have a gay agenda. <laughs> Since Anitra in this universe won the crown, that means Sasha Colby would be the final Elite Four member. So let's start with her. Sasha is a native Hawaiian, so a water type specialty was an obvious choice that I couldn't pass up. I'll be borrowing two Pokemon from Sasha's champion team, the first of which is Bruxesh, based on her tie-dye to dye for runway. The look immediately reminded me of Bruxesh because of the colorful swirls. Bruxesh is based on the Humuhumu Nuku Nuku Apuaha, commonly known as the Reef Triggerfish, also called the Humuhumu for short. The Humuhumu is the national fish of Hawaii, which made Bruxesh the perfect partner Pokemon for Sasha, especially when you appreciate its campy design. Her second Pokemon is Pukamuku, based on her Drag Race Fashion Week runway. I wanted to further highlight her Hawaiian heritage by picking Pokemon originally from the Alola region. This design challenge had a resort wear theme, which reinforces that connection with Alola. I personally think it's an interesting and cute Pokemon with a unique ability and stat total that Sasha would use on her team. Her third Pokemon is Milotech, based on her grand finale performance. She took us back to the 2000s and taught us how to spell like Gwen Stefani. Or, for my Puerto Ricans, like Davia. En la mía con N -O -T -A hasta dejarte L -O -C -A sin R -O -P -A. Y literalmente, se quedó sin R -O -P -A. <laughs> Milo Chick is a symbol of beauty in the Pokemon world. It used to evolve from a Feebas by maximizing its beauty contest stat in generations 3 and 4. Sasha came onto the stage with a long, snake-like tail that reminds me of Milo Chick's mermaid-inspired design. Milo Chick likely draws inspiration from the Roman goddess of love and beauty, Venus. This Pokemon's name, in turn, probably comes from Venus de Milo, which made it a fitting choice for Sasha, as she performed an original song called Goddess. Her final Pokemon is Cursala, based on her crystallized Eleganza runway. This is the second Pokemon I'm borrowing from her champion team. The gold wires extending from Sasha's arms reminded me of Cursala's branches. It evolves from Corsola's Galarian form, which to me provides commentary about how pollution negatively impacts coral reefs given Galar's heavy industrial influences. She described this look in her confessional as a golden coral goddess, and this evolutionary line is based on dead coral, after all. Lastly, Cursola would have a water terra type, as she is obviously a water type specialist, but also as a nod to what its pre-evolution used to be. Great job! We've defeated the Elite Four! Again, now let's find out which Pokemon our final challenger in this universe will face you with. At last, we've reached our final challenge. One more trainer stands in our way of becoming the Pokemon League champion. Anitra is a powerhouse performer who lets the talent do the talking for her. And I think the same could be said for some of the Pokemon on her hypothetical champion team. Just like Sasha, I'll be borrowing two Pokemon from her Elite Four team. The first of which is Togedemaru, based on her entrance look. Togedemaru is based on a hedgehog, which has spiky fur along its back. Anitra has metal spikes on her head that reference its steel typing, which made me think of its ability Iron Barbs, which damages opponents that hit Togedemaru with a move that makes contact. Anitra would later use this headpiece for her solo verse on the Blame It on the Edit music video, which made me think that she definitely used this little guy on her team. Her second Pokemon is Scizor, based on her look for the Lala Perusa. I mostly focused on her outfit's bright red colors as they match Scizor's color scheme very nicely. 
A big factor that I take into account when choosing champion teams is type balance and how the team matches up to a wide range of opponents. In this case, Scizor is yet another steel type that can counter the multiple fairy type weaknesses across the rest of Anitra's team. I also like to think that Scizor's wings and bug typing reference the butterfly on Anitra's chest. Her third Pokemon is Tyranitar, based on her crystallized Eleganza runway. This is definitely the best look from that entire episode. The focus of this dress is the gorgeous spinal column made out of crystals. Tyranitar is a rock type, which I associate with crystals, and the spikes along its back reminded me of the spinal column detail I just mentioned. Tyranitar is also a pseudo-legendary, which I always try to incorporate into champion teams if I'm able to, and it makes sense. Her fourth Pokemon is Scolipede, based on her Rib Her to Shreds runway. This is the outfit in which she performed what is considered to be the best lip sync of the whole season. Scolipede is based on a centipede, which can curl its body into a spiral to protect itself. I can imagine Anitra as a Scolipede jumping over Marsha with its body fully extended, curling its body into a spiral as it lands, and then re-extending its body back to a standing position. The color and pattern on Scolipede's body is similar to those on the dress, and I like to think its horns are reminiscent of the pieces attached to her ear and shoulder. Her fifth Pokemon is a shiny Mind Shao based on her grand finale red carpet look. Anitra fully leaned into her Asian heritage with this look. I chose Mind Shao as its design borrows from plenty of Asian influences, particularly from martial arts, of which Anitra has a background in. I decided on a shiny Mind Shao for two reasons. The color complements the look more nicely, and Anitra is one of only three Drag Race queens to receive the You Were Born to Do Drag comment from RuPaul which tells us viewers that she's one of her favorites. Her final Pokemon is Quackwaval, based on her talent show performance. This is the second Pokemon I'm borrowing from her Elite 14. That talent show number was so influential that it became a recurring meme online and throughout the show. It truly showcased Anitra at her best. As the final challenger, she would terrestrialize this last Pokemon. Given that, in a different scenario, she's a fighting type specialist, this Quackwaval of hers would have a fighting terror type. Quackwaval is the perfect choice for Anitra, a water and fighting type whose evolutionary line is based on a duck, has queer coded animations, and fantastic dance moves. What did you think of these teams? Tell me on Discord or tell me in the comments below and let me know what other Pokemon content you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and as always, I appreciate you being here. Bye! Have you heard the voice? She really is that girl.